Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome back to exit 204. Left for exercise 6. Okay. So here is lab scenario. And so far in the past videos, we are done with exercise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th. And here in this video, we'll work on exercise 6. And here we are just going to delete our resources. It says clean up resources. Okay. So let's go to the lab instruction page. So here we are exercise 6 clean up subscription so we just need to go to first open the azure cloud shell okay and then delete resource groups and then close everything that's it right so simple let's go to the portal let's go back close everything i'll open cloud shell it's here this little icon will open cloud shell for you cloud shell is a command editor where you can just run all your commands so let's go and first list out the all the groups which we have under my subscription list group and i want to see the output in tabular format so you can see i have two resource group i'm just going to delete this one polyglot data if you guys want you can just go and verify here it says delete this particular resource group okay now let's go here so as a command is az group delete dash dash name and put the name here poly polyglot data hit enter it lasts for confirmation oh sees could not found there is a problem okay okay so i made a mistake in the spelling this is poly polyglot data hit enter it lasts for confirmation hit yes and enter so again now it will take one to two minutes to clean up all the resources so i'm waiting here i'll pause the video and then i'll resume once we are done with clean up all the resources so now here you can see we are done with the deletion let's go and verify i'll just write type the same command as it group list dash o table so now here you can see we are just left with only one group the other one polyglot data has been deleted okay so here we are done with the exercise six so learnings from lab four now hope you guys would be able to create instances of various database services by using azure portal like you can go and create azure sql database or cosmos db database now you are good to write code to connect to the sql database you can go and communicate with the azure cosmos db you can migrate the data right so these are these many things we have covered in the lab 4 and lab 4 is really important uh, from your exam point of view as well thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel